Buddhism as a religion has its roots in present-day India and dates back as far as 5th century BCE. The religion's beliefs and traditions are based on spiritual practices and teachings attributed to Siddhartha Gautama, who would later be known to the whole world as the spiritual leader, Buddha. Buddhism has grown to become the world's fourth largest religion, with slightly over 520 million followers, constituting at least 70% of the world's population. However, the African continent generally, and Uganda in particular, have been slow to embrace the Buddhist religion. But this might change if Bante Bhikkhu Buddharakta, the first ever Ugandan and African Buddhist monk of the Theravada Buddhism, has his way. Venerable Buddharakita was formerly known as Stephen Kabogoza before he embraced Buddhism. <laughs> He was ordained as a monk in the United States of America in 2002 and he went on to enrich his knowledge in Buddhism in India and Burma. In 2005 he returned home to Uganda where he established the first Buddhist center and temple. He tells the challenges he faced when he had just returned to Uganda. It has been a big, a long journey, a very big challenge for me. In the beginning even people were afraid of me. They were running away from me. I used to stop the car, a taxi to, uh, to take me. They, they would mention that, they would make a sign like this, that there is a seat in a car. And as soon as they come close to me, they drive faster. So they confined Buddhist monks only to kicking, kung fu and karate. No, Buddhist monks do more than that. Buddha Rakta says that it took the people around him a long time to get used to him and his teachings. Right now, he says that the religion is on an upward trajectory, with more and more people believing in the ideas of wellness, mindfulness, and meditation as a way to attain inner peace. But over the years, people have understood me. Uh, we have programs that, are, uh, like such as what Women Empowerment Project, Clean Water, uh, uh, Education, so people see what they are doing. I think what I can see, actions speak louder than words. At the temple located in Garuga along Entebbe Road, two other monks, one from Uganda and another from Burma, joined Buddharakta to preach the gospel and to teach Buddhist beliefs to the six novice monks they currently have at the temple. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato sama sambudasa. Prayer each day kicks off at about 6 a.m. in the morning and begins with a slow walk around the compound towards the stupa a hemispherical shaped structure where they pray and meditate while moving around at least six times. Here, they also chant some words in the process. Afterwards, they stroll slowly while in deep prayer to the temple where they pray in front of the statue of Buddha. When the sitting meditation is completed, the novice monks are then led into walking meditation that is supposed to clear their minds. Progress relaxation. The final form of meditation involves sweeping the compound. Breathe in, breathe out. When meditation is completed, the monks then proceed to teach whoever is present and waiting. We should have compassion to other beings, towards other beings like mosquitoes, even mosquitoes need life. Buddharakta explains how he managed to win over the hearts of locals and the parents of the novice monks. What I've, see, I've done here at the Uganda Buddhist Center is people to see physically what I'm doing to help the society here. And that's how they bring their children here to come and meditate. By the way, most of those parents actually, they're actually part of us here because they come here to learn skills. He also says that the number of people who believe in Buddhism is growing slowly and that several Buddhists from around the world come to visit the temple. I came to Uganda, as I said again, to come and support Bhante's activities because what he's doing is actually quite crucial to the larger Buddhist outfits in the rest of the world, especially for us people of African descent. These children from the neighboring communities have now learned how the monks pray from observation and sometimes they mimic them. According to the monks that we have found here at the Uganda Buddhist Center, this place is not only a sanctuary 
for meditation, but also a place to connect with members of the community, empowering them and helping in the transformation of their lives. Suhail Mugavi, other Uganda Buddhist Center.